We exist to make, mature, and mobilize disciples in Utah and to the ends of the earth. I'm Pastor Brian, the lead pastor of Redeeming Life Church, and I want to take a look at our mission statement. We exist to make, mature, and mobilize disciples in Utah and to the ends of the earth. Let's unpack that a little bit. First, we exist to do this. Doesn't the universal church, that is the the big C church, all the churches where Jesus is the head, the, the, the body of Christ, isn't their job to glorify God? Absolutely, yes. We exist for that purpose, of course. And don't we exist to serve Jesus and whatever he would ask of us? Yes, absolutely. But we believe that the local churches, the local expressions of the body of Christ, are given specific missions that, that fit that specific time in that specific place. For us, it's the west side of I-15, Salt Lake City, Woods Cross, West Bountiful, North Salt Lake, the south part of Salt Lake City, the west side of Salt Lake City, a specific place, the west side, in a specific time now. And we have this specific mission to make, mature, and mobilize disciples. Well, what in the world does that mean? We believe we can see that all throughout Scripture, but it is very succinct and very clear at the end of the book of Matthew. Matthew 28 verses 18 through 20. This is the very last thing we see in this gospel. Jesus is about to complete his earthly ministry, and he's talking to his disciples. He gives them a job to do. He commissions them. It's called the Great Commission. Let me read it for you. Verse 18 says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you until the end of the age. So right there in that scripture that we believe is the word of God, we see that they are charged to go and make disciples, proclaim the gospel. God would do a mighty work and they would become followers of Jesus Christ, disciples themselves. Go and make disciples. And then we see that we're told to mature the disciple by teaching them to observe all that Jesus commanded. We can see other places where Paul charged Timothy to teach faithful men who could teach and grow and and continue to advance the gospel. We see in Ephesians 4 where the, the leaders of the church are charged to help to mature the church. They're not blown all over the place by every wind of doctrine, but instead are able to do the work of ministry, which brings us to this mobilization. The church should be doing this work. And think about this for a second. If these disciples that Jesus was talking about were told to go and teach all that Jesus taught and commanded, one of his commands was to go and make more disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then teaching them. So what we see is that if we are faithful to obey this, we're not only teaching it to others, but we're teaching them to teach it to others and obey it. When we see this, we see that we are charged to make, mature, and mobilize disciples. And where do we think that should take place? In Utah and to the ends of the earth. Of course, in Utah, that's where we live, work, play, and do business. We are charged to make disciples where we are. But we're also charged to make disciples everywhere, of all nations. And to that, we say, to the ends of the earth. This is our mission statement at Redeeming Life Church. We exist to make, mature, and mobilize disciples in Utah and to the ends of the earth.